Hey guys, it's the Penny Pinching Prepper here, and uh, coming back at you today with a uh, another trivia clue. Um, things kind of slowed down with the whole trivia thing, and I thought maybe part of it is because you guys have no idea what the prize is. So, before I give you the clue today, I thought I'd run you through my little care package that I was going to send, hoping to be a surprise, but, you know, hey, I understand the way the world works. <clears throat> so, some of the things I wanted to send to you is something, you know, simple to something a little nicer and everything in between. So, we're going to start off with the small things and work our way up. So, I'm going to send you one of these little, if you win, two winners have to send me your address um, to my... Uh, uh, email which is penny pinching prepper 77 at gmail you're, you're gonna have to do it I can't send it to you if I don't get it from you but this is a four times finale wrens um, works really good more uh, works better than most most of them are usually between two and a half and, and three this is a four times magnification all right I'm gonna send you a dozen of these mini glow sticks now these things are actually pretty cool but they're a little harder to use than the regular glow sticks you really got to pinch them and, and break them up real good crunch them just really crunch them and shake them really well but if you do you will end up <clears throat> with a, a good glow out of those things all right another thing i thought i'd send to you <clears throat> is one of my extreme weather fire starting packs these things uh, these things have the potential to burn up to about 15 minutes with a very nice size flame um, they can be submerged in water they work in you know 110 120 degree weather without melting and they will go below zero and still work very well um, these things are really awesome. Probably going to do a video on how to make these sooner or later. <clears throat> Another thing I thought I'd send to you is one of these, which is just a book of matches, a Ranger Band 10. But inside, there's a razor blade, and uh, it's actually packed full of uh, fat wood I got right here in the, the northwest. Went out and harvested it myself, but let's see if we can uh, get her to... Well, it's kind of hard to see, but... Um, well, let's try one more time. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I can't get it to work. But uh, this is premium fat wood. It, it lights up like a Christmas tree with a flashlight in the dark. <clears throat> I'll send you one of these tens and uh, like I said it comes with the you know it's just a ten fat wood a, a razor blade to make it easy to scrape it down a ranger band in your book of matches <clears throat> something a little more on the cool side these are my uh, my pocket oil lamps and um, these house everything you need for a cool little oil lamp and uh, what's inside is uh, a windshield and reflector and I'll show you that here in a second and uh, this is always kind of a pain in the butt to get out but a little twig that's the lantern itself right here which is a 5.56 five, five, a uh, 22 long rifle and a 380 shell <coughs> with a wick extra fluid and then the way this works is uh, you pull the handle out there's a little handle there and it, it slides right in there so you pull the handle out and you take this and you place it back in there where the lid faces up with the uh, the, the handle. All right. 
and then you take the 380 off and inside you have the wick all right and then you take this and there's a little hole on top and then we push right through and push that in there really good and then you close it and when you close it the oil actually locks the handle in so it, it doesn't move it actually works as a good little handle all right and then you take this little windshield here and you'll open it up and inside there's going to be this this little loop here all right and that little loop comes down over the shell slides on there and then you just kind of adjust it and you'll get it eventually and uh when you do, make sure that your wick's not all funky, that you got your wick standing up straight. You light her up. You actually have a working oil lamp. That works pretty good. It doesn't go out all that easy. All right? See if the windshield from the back, you're holding it. See, it doesn't go out so easy, so you're able to have a little lantern, a little reflector, a little light. And when you fill these, you get about 20 minutes worth of the burn time per fill. And the extra bottle will fill it about three times. Alright. That's not included. The other thing I thought I'd throw in there is a life straw guys um this has not been opened this is from a costco four pack um they're brand new i'm gonna throw one of these in as well so you get some cool little things and then to top it off i didn't feel like breaking it out of the safe but i am going to throw in a, a piece of constitutional silver because i believe right now is the best time to invest in gold and silver um with uh the the hard times coming um it's good to have a savings account that's never going to deplete rather you know if the stock market crashes the dollar crashes you know that that gold and silver is always going to be the same so I'm going to throw in a piece of constitutional silver with it as well. So, um, not, not super snazzy fancy, but this is just my way to show my appreciation to you guys and let you know that I, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel, which is the only way you can win. And, uh, for, uh, helping me grow this channel, this is a new channel and, and, um, I'm, just wanting to give back and, and show that I, I want to have a little bit of fun on this channel and be a little more interactive with you guys. So without going any further, because we're eight and a half minutes in now, the uh, sixth clue is the, the answer that you're looking for. Oh, hold on one second. Oops, sorry, Dexter. Oh. So this is it right here, right? If you go back and watch the first through the all the clues, you, you'll get a lot of helpful hints. But this comes from a small evergreen tree now before you just start commenting if you haven't watched the first videos or you don't remember the other clues go back and watch them because an evergreen isn't always what you think it is so uh i look forward to seeing you guys um put in some answers and and Giving me some thumbs up if you like what you see, and and I uh, just really look forward to 
being a little more interactive with you guys. Um, I hope you like the little care package that I have decided to put together for you guys. Um, remember, God's good and God bless.